hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm really excited to be here mm, mm, mm. no that's the vibe it's just as, as if like my new year started officially <laughs> anyway guys without wasting much time okay let's dive right into today's video so ladies and gentlemen your girl nanya we're we'll talking about how to provocatively seductively make your man moan and go crazy little things i'm just going to be giving you guys two tips on how to get your man in the mood how to turn that man on how to make that thing to stand that attention okay <laughs> so ladies you know eh, as a woman you're very powerful your body alone your calves that thing you have on top and that thing you have down there is you know is enough to make any man go crazy if you know how to up your game if you know how to use your woman power and i don't just mean any man so you don't go around just you know trying to you know make all men go crazy just to your man okay specifically your man so if you have if you know how to use your woman power your feminine beauty your femininity as a woman femininity as a woman to make your man go crazy then you have gotten everything you want okay that doesn't sum up that um it means that you have everything in the world i mean like when we're talking about bedmatics game right now if you want to turn your man on if you want to get your man's attention you have to do it in such a way that you're unintentionally intentionally getting his attention right to him you're unintentionally doing it but to you you're intentionally doing it you know what you're doing but you just don't want to make it so obvious you just want to you know, spice things up now let me not talk too much okay let me just go straight to the point on the tip number one so the first thing that you can do is now if you want to get your man's attention to say provocatively now you have to know the kind of body you have to know what fits you if you're someone that has big backside and maybe you have a bigger up you know how to package yourself make yourself look sexy smell nice look good and then start your game now if your man is probably on his laptop or on his phone and he's sitting down or maybe he's lying down now wear something very sexy something you're very comfortable in something that will bring out your calves and your body probably you can decide to wear a bum shirt and maybe some tops like crop top or a bra depending on how what makes you you know beautiful and more feminine then let's assume he's on his phone you know maybe his phone is on the on the table and you are and he's sitting down and he's pressing his laptop you can just walk up to him without kind of like drawing out his attention to, to what he's doing but also getting him to um, you know focus your his attention on you but that doesn't mean that you're going to make him stop what he's doing probably he's working on his laptop maybe it's you know something about work you shouldn't kind of like make him leave the work okay unintentionally remember you're intentionally doing but to him you're unintentionally doing to him maybe you just want attention you just want to you know you know come up to him and you just want to cuddle or something and he'll be like okay fine but now that is the main reason why you need to wear some that thing like that some that thing that is seductive so that to get his attention and it's just like so that he don't be like you're the one that made him stop like he decided to stop doing what he's doing to get to give you full attention or even to start you know doing the work like what so when he's sitting on his on the chair or on the sofa and he's pressing his laptop you just you without saying much word without even saying anything you can decide to say hey babe and then you crawl into his laps like his hands are on the on the table like this then you crawl in like in between his laughs right and then you you start praying like you just when you crawl you obviously your, your backside is going to be up facing his face even though his face is on his laptop but definitely he's going to have to be like looking at you and then working on his comp on his computer or his laptop and then you start pressing your phone and you can start like you know turning you know moving your butt a little making some funny funny noise you know just to get his attention like you're moaning or maybe you're watching something like you know just to spice up the atmosphere atmosphere to make everything you know everywhere look a little bit you know you know what i mean and then 
while you're watching it and then you kind of like maybe be moaning and be laughing giggling and then definitely he's, he's going to draw his attention and he's going to definitely leave what he's doing because i mean you can't have that juicy backside looking at you and then you not do anything you not drop what you're doing ah, ah. you have to drop it now even while you're watching like maybe you're watching a movie or a particular scene where you know couples are making out and then definitely is going to draw his attention because he would definitely want to leave what he's doing just to focus on you so that is one way to get your man's attention another way is ladies do not be stiff when it comes to bedmatics you must not be direct when you want to see your man when you want to just get his attention you can just do little little things that will just get him off whatever he's doing and focus his attention at you especially if you're honey now do you know this feeling when your man is lying down on the bed probably pressing his phone and then you just wear something i said then you sit on his joystick i didn't say you have to ride him no just playfully you sit on his joystick and you start giving him a kind of like dance like you know when they give someone a lap you just be dancing i remember you can do this with the reverse cowgirl position but you're, you guys are not doing anything remember you guys are not doing anything you're not riding him you're just trying to use him now if you're a woman who loves waist big please this particular thing i'm about to say do not do this if you feel like because i know that some people actually believe that waist beads uh waist bead has some certain kind of like fetish something but okay if you believe in that don't do it if you're someone that is actually a free-minded person and you know that it signifies like femininity it just makes you look and all that then you can decide to put it on a waist bead and then probably wear something very short and said like a pant makes you look sexy a bra then you sit on him with the reverse cow gear position you know facing him and then you start moving your waist and winding your waist and just be giggling i said you need to laugh you turn you know when you do it you turn you look at him and be like do you like it then you continue you just laugh you giggle you dance you raise your hand you hold your waist and move your waist like that is a way to make to drive your mind crazy and to say because he might feel like you're just being playful like you're not doing anything intentionally remember the word is the key word is trying to seduce do not be direct do not make it look like you know what you're doing just make it feel like you don't want to you don't want to be direct you just want to kind of like sit i remember when you're trying to say man you're just trying to spice things up right so this is just a way of you like doing things and you know you both enjoying the whole scene and then from there he can now grab your waist and from there you guys can start doing whatever you guys want to do right so these are two ways that you can actually spice your bedmatics game by just trying to see this doing it to him you're doing it unintentionally and to you you're doing it intentionally you know what exactly what you're doing you know you want to get his attention and you want to go further with whatever you're doing but you just want to make it look as if like you're just there to play but at the back of your mind you know you're there to see him so I hope this tip was helpful. Remember, ladies, wear something seductive that makes brings out your curves, your femininity, your feminine body. That makes you looks look absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous when you wear this. Then you just do these two things that I talked about, and then tell me how it went. Okay, you must not necessarily tell me because I always say this. Tell me how it went. I see if like, oh, you come to me and tell me, hey, nene, I did this with my man. Okay. <laughs> So guys, I'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get notified whenever I upload new videos. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.